Tyson's supposed to be autistic, but he is so fucking autistic. And so I'm just kind of going with the fact that he is. He's One thing with Tyson is I was a little disappointed that they weren't specifically looking for a disabled actor. Yeah. Because... I think that that's the specific prejudice they need to hit upon with this Annabeth Tyson storyline. Um, I mean, Tyson's supposed to be, what, eight years old, but he looks like a 15-year-old. Mm -hmm. And um, so there's a very clear disability kind of thing happening with his character that I really hope they don't lose for the show. I do, too. Could easily introduce Annabeth finding out about how abusive Gabe was by Percy's reaction to Ares, especially because of the Ares scene that he sees. He thought it'd be good for Annabeth and Grover to know that, <laughs> just to understand him better because he's never, we, we never tell people stuff like that. You have to like waterboard that out of us pretty much, especially when we're that age. Yeah. And so it would be nice if something like that happens where she can just kind of put the pieces together without him even having to necessarily say it out loud or say it, say that much and just like have another part of his like backstory on screen without needing to subject like Walker Scobell to actually being screamed at by an adult like that because I don't want them to do that. I don't want them to have to do scenes like that unless they have no other choice with any of the kid actors. That's not, even if they're acting, that would affect somebody's mental health, having to act that out over and over again, regardless if it was real or not. Him and then realizes this bitch is crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to actually be on your team. So it would be cool to show a character like that to show somebody that was like, oh my god, like, I have reasons to not like the gods or I don't feel like I have a place at camp. And maybe I don't want to be with somebody who is willing to murder children. <laughs> could interact with them if she is going to interact with them at all. Like, she could not interact with any of them. Okay. Not really. She could just see things, but they could never even have a conversation with her depending on how they want to tell her story. But I was like, oh, this would actually work, that if they wanted her to kind of be there, she could be there and she could just take them to where the Princess Andromeda is instead of Luke doing the worst jump scare of all time um, and him being the one to do it. <laughs>